Hello everyone. Uh, I was working recently uh, on table structure recognition using transformers uh, model. And uh, in this video, I'd like to show you how it works. And uh, here in the code, you can see the, uh, in the flow, basically the pipeline, uh, where I'm invoking a method to extract uh, table structure using transformers model, then uh, to recognize the structure cells, basically get uh, uh, boxes, uh, coordinates with boxes and uh, labels for each box um, to identify uh, this is the horizontal row or vertical row and uh, maybe row that um, uh, separates header. And then in the next step, so the idea is that we get boxes uh, and basically we get uh, lines, uh, horizontal vertical lines that uh, uh, help us to, uh, uh, to identify rows and columns. And then we need ourselves to calculate intersection between those horizontal and vertical lines and to create boxes. And then uh, once we have boxes, uh, this means we have cells and then we can uh, crop uh, uh, each box from the image and run OCR and then this way each uh, we can get text for each cell and then we can construct structured output this way ourselves. So in this post I'm focusing on a header extraction only uh, because transformer model uh, is able to uh, recognize in most of the cases uh, horizontal line which uh, uh, is enclosing header, table header. And then uh, we get this line and then we get um, uh, vertical lines for all columns and then we calculate intersection and then we get boxes for each uh, uh, column header and using those boxes, uh, coordinates for, the, for those boxes, we uh, crop uh, uh, header each, each header cell and then we run OCR, get the text and then we construct uh, uh, the structured output for the header data this way. So this happens inside uh, process table structure method over here. And what we do, we filter out uh, from the output that we received from the table transformer model. We filter out table spanning cell uh, entries that we're not interested in. Then we're also filtering out uh, entries with the low uh, probability, so it's, if it's less than 90%, we are filtering it out to remove uh, noise. And uh, to process headers, we are filtering out uh, table column header label, uh, entries with such label, and table columns, uh, like I mentioned before, to create intersection boxes for the header cells. So we get all this data, and then uh, we run uh, method here for to get header cell coordinates. We get uh, coordinates and then we do OCR. Uh, we for each uh, identified cell we crop it and we do OCR and we in a loop basically and then we get the header data and print it out over here. And then we save the and then then also we visualize it on top of the cropped table. We visualize uh, all the header cells that were identified. Uh, this is how it looks visually. This is the uh, table which was identified inside the document uh, using uh, uh, table transform transformer model to identify the table. And then the, another model for the table structure recognition was used to uh, identify uh, lines, uh, horizontal and vertical lines to identify table structure basically. And this is uh, how the table structure was identified uh, with uh, each cell for each uh, column header, number, description, and so on. And then <clears throat> if you look in the, into the output, here this is the list of uh, entries that we received uh, from uh, table structure uh, transformer model with boxes and then we calculated intersections to build uh, uh, cells. So here we created cells from left to right. And then uh, using coordinates for each cell, we cropped or extracted the small image uh, which identifies each cell. And we run OCR for, uh, using this small image and then we got text. 
and this is the header row number description quantity and so on which uh, is matching actual uh, header information from the table okay so my next step would be to process in the same way uh, table data itself uh, to identify uh, rows columns and uh, uh, do OCR with OCR extract this data uh, it's, uh, it can be a bit more tricky on more complex tables and uh, what I noticed that uh, additional post-processing might be required to clean up noise or to merge some uh, empty col identified columns and so on. So in Sparrow Parse Library I plan to add uh, functionality which should uh, help to inject uh, like a post-processing uh, logic uh, uh, custom logic um, specific to your own requirement, for example. So this logic will not be part as a core uh, Sparrow Parse implementation, but for example, you'll be able to implement a class which will do additional uh, post-processing and you can inject this class into the Sparrow Parse pipeline and uh, uh, process uh, your data according to, uh, to some additional requirements. So this, this will be implemented as well. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.